Wait on you! Oh shit. Alright, I just got off of work. I'm on my way home now. Uh go take a shower, find something to eat. I'm fucking hungry as hell. So I'm about to go find something to eat. And then I'm gonna over see the kids for a couple hours, probably take them down to the lake, go swimming. Uh, it's fucking hot out here. I'm hungry as shit. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to my other channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow all my links in the description. Um, uh, I'm seriously considering quitting my job. Fucking, okay, there's too much fucking bullshit. I don't really want to go into too much detail or whatever. But there's one of my coworkers that's just like seriously getting on my fucking nerves and, and like he. He's fucking lazy. He doesn't fucking do what he's supposed to do. He fucking gets on my nerves every fucking day. Now the day goes by and he doesn't get me all worked up about some shit that he's doing or not doing or what the fuck ever. So I mean, yeah, yeah I, I think it's about time that I just go on and try to find another job somewhere else. Because I'm, I'm, I seriously can't deal with this much longer, man. Fucking douchebag. I hate working with idiots. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to think about it over the weekend or whatever. Come Monday, uh, I'm going to decide whether or not to put in a two-week notice or not. I don't know. Before I do quit, though, I definitely need to find another job because I can't be without work for too long. I have to be making something. How the hell out here? Fucking bees everywhere, all over these fucking train tracks and shit. I'm trying to get the hell out of here before I fuck around and get stung. But, um, I'm about to head to the house now. Fucking try to find something to eat. <sighs> Houdini! The treats are way over there. <laughs> Come on, Houdini. I'm filming her. <laughs> but on the camera, you can only like see the back half of her sticking out from behind the TV. And as soon as I shook this, she stuck her head out. Come on, Houdini. Come on, I'll give you one. Come on. Go ahead, walk across the tables. Oh, she can't get over here. Come on, Houdini. Come on. Come get it. Come on. Come on. Boy, she's a bitch. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's on the floor. Come on. There she goes. Alright, um, I, I don't think I'm gonna make it over to see the kids today. 
because it, honestly, I just don't feel good. Fucking, I feel like I'm about to throw up or something. I don't know if it was something I ate or what, but nah, I just feel like I'm about to throw up or some shit. So yeah, I'm, I'm not even about to go anywhere today. Just gonna hang out at the house for the rest of the day. Today's almost over. Shit's already six o'clock. But I guess time flies when you're doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go over there tomorrow though. Uh, take them to the lake or something. Uh, <coughs> but, um, I don't know. I don't know. I might go walking through the woods here in a little bit. Smoke some weed out in the woods or something. I'm really not trying to go too far away from my house. You know, the kids, they live so far away. And like I said, I feel like I'm going to be sick. I don't really want to go too far away from the house. Uh, fucking tired though. I barely got any sleep last night. Got a fucking hair in my mouth. Barely got any fucking sleep last night. Mm. For some reason, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I don't know if I mentioned this yet or whatever, but for some reason, the other day, uh, my brother got some mail here at my house. He got some mail addressed to him from the parole board, okay, he, he's not on parole, he's never even been to prison, he's been in trouble with the law before, of course, but he's never been to prison, so why the hell is he getting mail from the parole board, so, you know, he, he has my mom open it, you know, and, and apparently it, it was a letter notifying my brother that, the, the, the letter stated that because my brother is my father's victim or whatever my father's in prison right now my biological father but the letter stated that because my brother is my my father's victim that they're obligated to notify him that he'll be released soon okay my um the problem with that is my brother wasn't the victim in that case my children were the victim in that case how come I never got anything? How come their mom never got anything? How come they never got anything? You know, he he's supposed to get out sometime within the next couple of months. Well, the letter said that his his release date is October 8th of this year. Okay? The letter stated that he could be released any time between now and then. You know, so he might even get out early. But the issue that I'm having here, and I, I can't figure this out for the life of me, why is the board, parole board sending my brother a letter notifying him of the release when my brother wasn't the victim? My kids were the victim. You know, so that doesn't make any fucking sense. You know, it it was my my kids were his victim. You know, I, I'm not going to go into details about what happened or what the case was about or whatever. But that, that, that's fucked up, though, because, you know, the actual victims never got notified. The victim's parents... You know, me and April, we never got notified. So why the hell is my brother being notified? Talking about, you know, uh, he he's about to get released and everything. You know, the, the fucking system is fucked up. I, I don't trust the system with anything, dude. Like, the system is fucked up. They never know what the fuck they're doing. First of all, he only, my, my biological father, he only did four years. Four years. He should have got life. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into details about the case. He, he should have at least got life, okay? I, I would have been happy if he had at least got 15 years, even 10 years. Four years? Are you serious? Where's the justice in that? Like, seriously? How do you get off with four years after the crimes that you committed? How do you get off with only four years? Fucking piece of shit. My, my biological father is a piece of shit, dude.
Like, it, it's pathetic that he got off with only four years. But he's uh he's apparently about to get out soon. Um, whatever he gets out, he gets out. All I know is he better stay the fuck away from me. He better stay the fuck away from my kids. He better stay the fuck away from my family. If I, I I'm not gonna go looking for him. Okay, I promise that I will not go looking for him. But if I ever run into him again, then I'm going to prison because I will kill him. Okay, and I, I have no problem saying that on video. As God is my witness, I put this on all of my children's lives. If I ever see my father again, I will slit his fucking throat. That is a promise. I'm going to jump off that subject now, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm already starting to get a little bit mad. I, I don't even want to talk about him no more. Like, he's a fucking scumbag. He deserves the rotten hell. He, he definitely should have got more than four years. I definitely should have got more than four years. But I mean, the system's fucked up, especially out here in Ohio. The system is fucked up. This is how it is. But I'm about to, I'm about to go roll up a blunt. I'm about to go ahead and roll up a blunt. Uh, get high. And just relax. I still feel like I'm about to throw up. Uh, I'm going to hell. I, <laughs> I just, uh, I convinced my mom to, to watch that Two Girls in One Cup video, and I recorded her reaction. I just posted it a few minutes ago. It's on my channel right now. If you happen to miss it, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Go ahead and fucking check that out. It's kind of funny. I... I, she didn't see the whole video because honestly I was worried about her throwing up and if she threw up I would have been had I would have had to be the one to clean it up and I, I was ain't doing that you know so I cut it short so that you know she wouldn't throw up and shit but it, it's pretty funny uh, I, you couldn't really see me I was off of camera but you can hear me laughing I I, I was laughing so hard I hit the floor but <laughs> yeah make sure you check that video out. Um, I think I'm about to go ahead and just wrap this walk up. You know, I just sat around the house all damn day. I ain't really done shit. You know, I don't really feel good, like I said earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up, get it posted. It'll be up 11 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and that's it.